What's up guys, it's Rob here. Today we're gonna to be going over GameStop's price action for the day of March 26, 2021 and anticipation for the next day of trading, which is gonna be March 29th, 2021. And we're gonna be taking a look at the daily, weekly, and monthly timeframes of the stock anticipation for that trading day. But overall, it was a good day. Yeah, it wasn't like Thursday where we had a 50% price movement in the stock we had we stayed within 1.5 percent of where we closed yesterday which is actually really phenomenal when you think about it because most of the times with a stock that grows 50 percent in the day you're going to get some form of retracement in a healthy stock of anywhere is between 23 and 50 percent and we really didn't see that and when you take a look at the five minute chart right now for friday like the rsi is sitting nice and happy we had two nice areas one in the middle of the day between about 11 and 1 and then right into the close really had two nice periods of consolidation where we took that rsi and really just calmed it down and we're staying relatively calm within this channel which is actually really good and really healthy for the stock and let's go ahead and bump it out to the monthly time frame um but really you can see this channel between 172 and 184 is like a critical point for the stock yeah we have the 200 dollars psychological barrier that is there along with the 210 resistance then 235 and 280 after that but really when you see that we trade within this when we trade within this little window that we have and we get healthy price movement we can rip upwards now you can see here this is back when we made our drive from going from essentially a 80 40 my bad our 40 dollars stock we drove the price up and continued driving it all all the way up to 348.50 and you can see in this channel we touched it once we touched it twice we've really tested 172 172 has been really a critical point as you can see we broke through it here and then we sold off into it but when we sold off into it on late tuesday and the wednesday and we had that day of selling immediately on thursday we bought it right back up and closed pretty much at the top of that one a channel between 172 and 184 and then we just consolidated on friday it's absolutely beautiful action now the huge thing that i want to say is the weekend is a lovely thing because what it's going to do it's going to allow us to just relax take a breath take our hands away from the keyboard and just go do other things and then come back and evaluate things late tonight on sunday into monday morning instead of being all spun up on stocks so what'll be my huge thing is my huge thing that i'll be looking forward to going into monday on the 29th is can we respect this level of support here at 172 and then can we make that break out of 184 and then 180 yeah 184 93 during the day if we can make that break and hold that then i would look for that retest of the psychological barrier of 200 maybe even 198 has been definitely proving to be a little bit of a difficulty to get over as a resistance but really i'd be looking for that 200 dollars barrier hopefully that we can break on monday it would be really nice and if we can break and hold that that will definitely be a very bullish indicator for the stock on the week and the other thing that we have to think about too on monday is we just had the whole weekend to think about the stock and just kind of turn and reminisce and think, well, is the stock overvalued? Is it undervalued? And all that kind of stuff. So most of the days when you want to make, most of the times when you want to make some form of rapid move, either an upward or downward trend, it's definitely done on Monday. So I will be looking we'll be looking to see that we hold that 172 resistance and then if we can break through hold 184 and then retest 200 on monday it would be really nice but anyways that's all that i got for you guys now i mean overall yeah it wasn't a 50 percent day but it was a very healthy day for the stock cooling off after yesterday was much 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 needed because thursday is 
price action was absolutely insane. And for us not to fall 20% on Friday is phenomenal. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, if you did make it this far in the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop your thoughts down below. What do you think about the movement on GameStop and on Monday morning? Or do you think it's going to be bullish, bearish? I know some people think it's going to be bearish because of the whole market is still apparently selling off. But hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you later.